On today's episode, Optimus the Tesla bot shows off some delicate work using its new vision-based neural network, Cybertruck lines shut down at Giga Texas as the company prepares for the start of production ramp up, and Elon hints at a Cybertruck performance model. On September 23rd, Tesla's Optimus robot-focused account on the Everything app posted a new video showcasing some impressive new abilities. First off, we get a view through the Tesla bot's eyes as it performs calibrations with its arms, moving them back and forth while the bot's neural network maps reference points so Optimus knows where its hands and feet are. Then we see it sorting some big Lego blocks by color, which might seem small, but is probably a bigger development than the ability to stand and walk without a cable attached. This is because the robot has reportedly not been programmed to sort these blocks, at least not in the traditional manner. It's been given the command to sort the blocks by color, that much is obvious, but according to the Tesla team, the bot handles the rest entirely on its own. Some of you might remember the demo at Tesla's AI Day last September, and then the 2023 shareholders meeting in May. During both of those events, CEO Elon Musk and Tesla's engineers talked about using the same type of identification systems as the company's cars use for their full self-driving software. For Optimus, this means that the bot takes in visual data with its cameras, feeds it into its onboard neural net, and applies what it has learned to the task it's been asked to do. In short, the bot learns and then remembers those lessons for later use, all without being hooked up to a larger network. In the video, we can see researchers messing with the bot by moving blocks around while it's trying to grab them and manipulating blocks that have already been sorted so that they are right side up. You definitely can program a more conventional robot to do those things, but not to adapt in the way we are seeing here, which is the strength of this type of system. The only downside, of course, is that there needs to be some training process before a bot's network gets this good at a task, or at least that's what's being implied, because we still don't know much more about the neural network, aside from the idea that it works very similar to the FSD network that guides Tesla's vehicles. But this little test is deceptively mundane. Sorting things is one of the tasks that Tesla is hoping their robot will be able to take over for humans, making this achievement a better proof of concept than other flashier tests. But proving the bot can learn from past experience and not get thrown off by environmental changes means that it's ready to be trusted for this sort of task and perhaps ready for more complex ones as well. And as if to underscore that thought, the video ends with the Tesla bot performing some yoga poses while balancing on one foot. It's definitely safe to say that walking and physically maneuvering was the easiest part of building a robot like this. Like we said, the updates for Optimus this year have been very encouraging. Last September's AI Day presentation was a little rough, but seeing the Tesla bot walk and balance and navigate workspaces while doing simple tasks does a lot to build confidence in the project. We are very much looking forward to hearing more details about the neural network though, Tesla at least has to warn us if their bot isn't three laws compliant. We finally have some solid news on when the Cybertruck should begin deliveries, and it's very soon. On September 14th, YouTuber Muddy Ruts posted a video of his time out on the off-road testing track at Hollister Hills, California. While he was out there, he came across a pair of Cybertrucks marked as release candidates, and lucky for us, the drivers were chatty. Aside from showing off the Cybertruck's lift capabilities via their air suspension, the drivers mentioned that the first deliveries of the vehicle should be taking place in October. Now, all of us should be wary of any news about the Cybertruck by now. Most of what we know had to be parsed from a lot of different rumors before we got any sort of confirmation. But the news does come from a Tesla employee, and one that's trusted enough to take a Cybertruck release candidate from Texas to California without one of those new security escorts, so the credibility is relatively high here. But luckily we have another bit of evidence to factor in. On September 25th, just 11 days after the Muddy Ruts video, prolific drone pilot and Tesla watcher Joe Tetmeyer posted a video going over a couple of updates for Giga Texas. In it, he mentions that workers were beginning to return to the site after being mostly gone for the last three weeks, a small production shutdown that Joe's sources have said was to calibrate the Cybertruck production lines. 
And this is something that is also supported by sightings of what the Tesla folks call master candidates, pre-production models that are considered the final version of the truck that will likely make it to production itself, something supported by reports that reservation holders are seeing changes in the online studio. On their own, these pieces of information are shaky. Together, they give us a pretty good reason to suspect October as the start of real production ramp up for the Cybertruck. Okay, so we know that October is the month Tesla starts sending out the first Cybertrucks, but we also know that the company has over 2 million pre-orders for the thing. So how fast are they going to be able to catch up with those numbers? Well, a hiring spree is a good place to start. On September 19th, a rare appearance by Tesla's director of manufacturing at Giga Texas, Jason Shahan, gave us some details on the company's plans for the location. At the State of Manufacturing Conference and Expo held in Austin, Shahan's keynote speech laid out how Giga Texas had gone from just over 12,000 employees at the end of 2022 up to today's number of around 20,000. But the facility isn't finished growing. According to Shahan, Tesla is anticipating tripling the current employee count to 60,000 members by the time Cybertruck's production finishes its ramp up, which should be sometime in the next two years or so, if CEO Elon Musk is accurate with his estimations. And that's always a big if. Because Shahan was specifically tying that 60,000 number to Cybertruck's production scaling, we can probably assume the bulk of those new workers will be working on that project or at least on areas that will affect that production. And this actually matches well with what Elon said during the investor call back in April. When asked about the Cybertruck production, Musk said that he believed the ramp up would be very strong during 2024 and that the company would be making the truck in high numbers. But when asked about specific numbers, Elon said that ramp up would be moving as fast as the slowest elements of the supply chain. It's hard to say what that would be in the Cybertruck's case. A lot of its components are unique by even Tesla standards, but it's more than likely that the bottleneck for Cybertruck production will be the 4680 battery cell, which the vehicle is rumored to run on. Tesla has done a lot of work on its battery production infrastructure this year, including starting the construction of their own lithium refinery in Corpus Christi, Texas, but they still need help from battery producers like CATL and Panasonic to shore up their numbers. So it stands to reason that's where any slowdowns will occur for the Cybertruck. Aside from that though, we'll have to wait and see. It won't take long for production numbers to become available, and at the very least, 2024's shareholder meeting will be full of hard data. Until then, it looks like some folks are going to be getting their Cybertrucks in time for the holidays. Just as we received news that the first Cybertruck deliveries are expected for October, Tesla CEO Elon Musk hit us with a teaser via his social media account on the Everything app. On September 22nd, Elon posted one sentence, quote, I just drove the performance Cybertruck today and it kicks ass next level. And I mean, how are we not supposed to start speculating on that? It certainly makes sense that there would be a performance version of the Cybertruck when they officially launch the vehicle in October. All the other cars in their fleet have at least one performance model, usually coming with better batteries, updated trim and cosmetic features, and more motors. And while we really can't say much about the Cybertruck's battery situation, we have lots to say about the prospect of extra motors. Elon and Tesla have commented a handful of times about proposed motor options for their prototype pickup truck, with options ranging from one motor all the way to four, one for each wheel. But we haven't exactly heard anything recently about a four motor variant, so it's best not to wait on that version just yet. We did hear some rumors earlier this year that the single motor variant isn't likely to ship at first, and so that would seem to imply that the dual motor version is the base model currently, which would further imply that the tri-motor option would be what Elon was referring to in his September 22nd post. Some earlier numbers from Tesla's site have indicated that the dual motor variant would have a range of about 300 miles, while the tri-motor all-wheel drive variant would have a whopping 500 miles and be able to pull 14,000 pounds, which definitely qualifies as performance. More to the point, it just makes sense that we would only be seeing two variants of the new vehicle when it launches. Tesla has had a hell of a time with Cybertruck pre-production before this year, and the sudden smoothness of the run-up to its launch would seem to point to the team choosing to take some work off their plate by focusing their effort on one or two models. But 
we should be careful to remember that things can change a lot during pre-production. By now, Tesla has almost certainly finalized what they want to offer in terms of vehicle options, but even back in July, some rumors from community members were that Tesla sources were only working on one version. But a teaser from Elon this late is a pretty good sign that we're going to be seeing a performance version of the Cybertruck pop up sooner rather than later. Even if it's not among the first offerings, it clearly exists as a working prototype at least, so we should be getting some idea of what it actually can do within the next couple of months. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up today if you liked it. That is so important for getting our content out to more people. If you enjoy the content, then you'd probably also enjoy our weekly newsletter. So sign up with the link down below at theteslaspace.com. A huge thank you to all of our Patreon supporters who are listed on the screen now. You help us make the best content we can, and we really appreciate it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.